So, um, the last couple months I've been dealing with a combination of uh, burnout and generally feeling like why should I bother talking or saying anything and um, there's this thing going around um, that if you uh, follow me you probably have already heard about it and it's called Gamergate and um, it started in August and I was honestly hoping it would just be over like and end and I wouldn't have to deal with it and I wouldn't have to talk about it um, you know because usually when things happen on the internet they blow over in a couple of days or weeks and it's just a matter of waiting it out but it hasn't um, and without going into like an extreme amount of detail about stuff that you probably already know or can find on the internet in like 10 minutes. Um, it did accomplish one thing and that was for me to feel like my voice didn't matter and like I shouldn't uh, say anything and like it would be uh, dangerous for me to talk about anything uh, as a gamer, as a genderqueer person, especially just like like, the assault that they've been launching on, uh, on female game developers and female video game, uh, players and people who critique video games and anyone who they claim is a social justice warrior just made me feel very insecure and unsafe. I got really tired of feeling like... I shouldn't speak, like I had no place to speak, like my voice didn't matter and that it would be dangerous if I used it. All of my childhood I was told to toe the party line, I was told what we believed in why and had talking points for the family beliefs and any opinions that I had I wasn't allowed to express if they were different and didn't fall in line with the ex accepted terms. and. Um, Gamergate's attack of people who dare to think that games should be more than they are just kind of sends me back into that and at first the silencing tactic worked. It made me not want to be a part of gaming culture, it made me not want to be uh, someone who says they play video games and also happens to have boobs. It made me feel like it was dangerous to exist, and it sort of is, but I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being told to shut up. I'm tired of being told to sit down and keep my opinions to myself and let the uh, <coughs> straight white guys go do their shit and keep the video gaming world and whatever other hobby they decide they want to control. Uh, the way it is, and not change it, and not not allow it to become more diverse. And I feel like at this point, if I continue to stay silent, then they're winning. And in a way that that if I stay silent about this, then then not only are the people who are um, campaigning for Gamergate winning campaigning for misogyny under the guise of uh, ethics winning the whole patriarchal system who is trying to shut up the voices of women and queer people and people of color they're winning but if I run then they've won if if I run then all the voices of my childhood suddenly have validity and I'm not okay with that. So I'm not going anywhere and I'm going to keep talking as I uh, have thoughts but I'm not I'm not going to let the trolls <coughs> that run uh, Gamergate stop me from using my voice anymore. I'm tired of that and I'm not going to let them win.